Hi, I'm Stemily and this is my first video review. RS Components have sent me this starter kit um, for a Raspberry Pi from Okidoo to do a test. This is the first time I'll have set up a Raspberry Pi kit, so let's see if it actually lives up to its name as a starter kit. So let's get started and open this up. Here we have a little card telling us what we should have and where to go. Raspberry Pi case integrated fan. Um, Raspberry Pi 4 board. The USB to USB C cable with a line switch. HDMI cables. Power supply, SD card reader, three heat sinks, 32 gigabyte micro SD card. So this is the Raspberry Pi. Is the Raspberry Pi case with the fan and some screws inside of it. These are the heat sinks I'm guessing. This is the USB reader. Wait, no, um, SD card reader. This is the SD card. This is the USB cable. Um, now suppliers for every single different country. And then the cables and a switch. So we've got the website up and running and it will give us step-by-step -step instructions of what we have to do. So first things first, we get to mount up the heat sinks. So, okay. And then we have to stick it down there. There we go. Push it out of it. Now we have to do this one, which is the medium sized one. Now we Big one. Stick those down. Now we get to insert the Raspberry Pi into its case. So we put it down this way round. And then we have little holes to make sure that it fits. And then Secure the screws with our trusty screwdriver. That is all four screws screwed. Now we get to position our fan. Attach it to here so that it floats. There we go. Right. So can, now we get to connect the fan. So we have two wires, and the red one has to go here. Yeah. And then the white one, the white one, black one goes one, just like space along. Well. There we go. Right, connect the fan. Now, next step, just make sure that they are connected to the pins. Now we can stick the feet. There we go. We stuck the feet. So now we get to insert our micro SD card, which is this one here. So we'll insert it into that little gap there. Now we get to connect our keyboard and mouse. So we have a wireless mouse. So this is our little dongle that we get to put in here. So where does it go? So this one has to go in this bit here, in the blue bit. Then we connect our screen. Okay. Then we connect the power cable. Plug this one into this end here of the little power adapter. 
that. Then we plug this into there like that. So it fits like that. Then we plug this into there. There we go. So we are all connected up. Um, so now all I have to do is flick the switch and see what's going on. So I've looked at the website and it says, your Raspberry Pi will boot and display the desktop. The first time you start up your Raspberry Pi, the Welcome to Raspberry Pi application will pop up, guiding you through the initial setup. So that's what I've got to do, follow the signs on the screen. I've never set up a Raspberry Pi like this, so it's all very new to me. Ooh, the fan's going. There are colours. It is telling me a whole lot of things about computing, which is cool. And it is extracting a file system. Ooh, raspberries. Ooh, welcome to Raspberry Pi Desktop. Before you start using it, there are a few things to set up. Press next to get started. Um, but, but, uh, so we need to enter our location, language, Next, I'm on the desktop, I've loaded everything up and there's a lot of really cool things you can do, you can do different programming, um, things for education like Office, um, you've got the internet, you can watch video like um, videos and things, you can look at images, um, you can play Minecraft and also you can have Python games and then there are some accessories. You can also go on the internet. And the whole reason, like, one thing I really wanted to do was write a tweet. So that's what I'm doing. So I'm going to write a tweet. Um, a big thank you to RS for um, sending me this kit and for allowing me to do this because it was so much fun. 